like him. Hi, welcome to the Talk of Life Talk Show. We are blessed on this show. I am Elma, and I'm going to take my seat right now. Well, I think I am going to have some co-hosts coming in on Jet 1 and Jet 2, okay? They're flying in. I don't know where Kimberly is flying in from this time. But Kimberly is getting ready to come in. I think y'all hear her coming down the hallway. Oh, there she is. She's opening the door. There's Kimberly. Yeah. Hello, Kimberly. Where? Where are you coming from? I have a citation tea and I'm going to look more. I'm going to need a little more. Pattery, darling. Pattery, pattery, pattery. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> wow. I tell you, we fly everywhere. I tell you, it's so The Talk nice of Life Talk able. Show Jet. Especially yes. Especially in this weather. Yes, the Talk of Life Talk Show Jet is fabulous. I tell you. Yes, yes. But Kim, I think, did you hear that Tan is coming in from Jamaica? From Jamaica, darling. I know she called in and said she was going to fly in from Jamaica. Just, just in time for the next show. I hope she'll be able to make Jamaica, it darling. the show. Darling. I think, did you hear the jam? The talk of life talk show. I think it's coming landing. In. We need a little more power. And there she is. <laughs> oh, girl, that, oh my gosh. She's, she's here. here. She's here. You can tell she done been to Jamaica. You look so good, girl. Nice to have you back. Yes. I was Jamaica. What did you do, girl? Did you have fun? It's just like Vegas. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Vegas is a mess. What goes on in Vegas stays, stays in oh, Vegas. Oh, okay. So she can't tell us what happened in Jamaica. Well, you smell good. I know it, but Jamaica is nice. The best. Oh, thank God. Before you got on the plane, thank God. Oh, after. Oh, after. Oh, thank God. Okay, well, good. But you look good. Well, thank you. Thank we you. miss you, and we're glad that you had a good time in Jamaica. Yes. I wish yes. I was there with you. You can come. Okay. Next time I'll come with you. Okay? She's going to fly out tonight. We'll fly out tonight. Okay. I'm a private jet. I'm a private Private, yes. Oh, God. I tell you, we have so much fun on this, but you all are wondering, do they really fly in on a jet? That's for you to keep wondering. All right? Okay. So tonight, we are so blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed to be yes, on the Talk of Life blessed. talk show uh, again. And we always start off with our scripture walk. And Kimberly always sit over there acting like she don't know she's supposed to do the scripture. <laughs> you know, I mean, always <laughs> tell a person that's not reading their word. Because they, so, they forget every time. We start the show. We have to have our scripture walk. And she just been like she in another world. She said world. marinate. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what it is. She let it go in. But it's look great. how long we've been doing this. <laughs> it ought to be in her by now. Okay. Oh, there she goes. Oh, She's scooping it up. About. She's scooping it up, y'all. Yes, yes. She's scooping it up. Yes. Sometimes we do have to scoop it up. <laughs> and our scripture is Philippians 1 and 6. This is our short version of it. Finish what you start. This is a new year. <laughs> Kimberly can always make us laugh with this scripture walk, I tell you. And it started out being a joke and it ended up being good for the show. Because she get her exercise yes, in at the same yes, time. I need those steps. I need those steps. <laughs> and when the, saints, when the saints go marching in. That's it. You know, so it is awesome. But you know, on the Talk of Life Talk Show, we started uh, a new thing called What Did the Scripture Mean to You? And I bet you all forgot it, right? Forgot it? Where, where my Bible? Oh, Lord, she didn't find her back. It was Philippians 3. Oh, you, I, get, girl, go on. Go on. Go on, girl. Remember, don't ask me what it's saying. Okay, I'm going to try to read it for you. If I can find it in here, it was Philippians 3. This is not my Bible, y'all. That's the reason why it's taking me a long time. Take your time minute. Okay, let me see if I can look Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I brought that up, too, because I had been praying a lot. And uh -huh. it's like God has been speaking to me. And then uh, Thank I had God is God me. speaking to her, y'all. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> right, that's during the daytime. <laughs> but no, I had started taking uh -huh. a screenshot of all these different motivational speakers and uh -huh. stuff. And uh, the last one I took was a picture of Denzel when he was... Um, 
speaking to the college and everything yes. about something about you know Philippians. Well, he didn't say Philippians three yeah. thirteen, but it's around that, you know. And I was like. See, God, speak to me. I'm so glad speak God speaks, but you know, some people say he does, but he does. Yes, he, he will. He will me. talk to you if you listen yes. to him. And our scripture, what did this scripture mean to you? What is it's it? going to be Philippians 3, and uh, it's 13 and 14. And it says, brothering, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting old things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. And 14 says, I press towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. And I think that's a good scripture to, to talk mm -hmm. about tonight. Uh, what do you all have to say? What does that scripture mean to you? Well, um, and, and again, I'm gonna go back to Denzel. Mm -hmm. When he was saying, um, about you know how you're going to college and um, some people always want to ask you, what are you going to fall back on? Okay. He said, pretty much, I'm misquoting him, but why fall backwards? It's better to fall forward oh, yes. to see where like you that. land. Yes. And yes. that touched me. And I'm like, you know what? That that's right. Yeah. Fall. Because why do I want to go back to my past? Because sometimes your past brings hurt, pain, yes. you know, deceit, everything. But you never know what your future holds. So mm -hmm. I, I love that. I love that. And verse. that goes into mm -hmm. uh, pressing towards the yes. Lord. Yes. Kimberly. Oh, Lord. What oh, Kimberly going to say? Jesus. Oh, man. I forgot. Because she, she, she <laughs> keeps. Uh, did you find your Bible, Kimberly? It's, it's on somewhere. your phone, Kimberly. It's There's somewhere. no excuse. I got this Bible you, Look, you don't have to have one like this. It's on your phone. <laughs> All you have to do is so, ask Google. And Google. <laughs> Google, I, I, Google is smart, though. Google yes, to the scripture. Yes. Dress and believe. What do you me. think, uh, Kimberly? Oh, pretty much the same. Um, okay. Pretty much the same as um, Tan just said. I counted myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind. That old man, to me, is when I read it, it's talking mm -hmm. about the old man, the man that was not in Christ, the man that had not yet been renewed. Mm -hmm. um, our spirits had not been, when we um, forget Good. those things, because now you're in Christ, you're hid in Christ. Mm -hmm. And there are things in Christ that we're supposed to be pressing toward. And those yes, are things like that, that we should be setting our affection on things above, not on things of the earth. Mm -hmm. That's good. She found her Bible, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're <laughs> pressing towards that new man. If any yes. man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old That's right. He passed away. Woo, so go, girl. Who I was. Yes. Is no longer who I am. I think Paul's, That's right. At one point, it. Paul said, I have wronged no man or offended no man. Yeah. Something Paul said like mm -hmm. that. Something he said, but anyway, yeah. he had offended nobody. And we all know what Paul did before he became right. uh, born again. Mm -hmm. But he got so far out into Christ in realizing who his who he was re recreated to That's be right. in Christ, that he was focused on that and that outshined. Mm -hmm. yep. shine. So she found her Bible, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. You gotta be careful with this le electronic Bible. No telling what'll pop up in the app. Are yes. uh, you right? <laughs> it will pop up on there too. On that app, you know, you'd be like, all kinds of stuff pop up. You trying to get that word? Because they be oh, trying yes. to pop stuff in these apps now. I hear you, but that's good. You know, forgetting those things and and looking forward. I I just preached on this uh, the other Sunday about. Uh, looking forward, okay. you know, move forward, lead, okay. the, learn from your past so that you don't repeat it. Mm -hmm. But if we keep focusing on what's back there, you can't see what's in front. I mean, set you some goals. Think about things that you want to do. 2022 is a new year. And I think all of us have been through so much in 2021 and 2020. And it doesn't even seem like I, I was 10 today. I had a great y'all. I really did. Uh -huh. I had a great 20. Yeah, and 21. 20. I mean, it, it was, was like, just really good. It was just a total mm -hmm. different atmosphere because I'm working at home. And I was telling my boss today, I said, do you know March 22nd will be two years that I've been working at home? It went fast. It, it did. Like, How long? It'll be two years. I wish I would. Well, March the 22nd was the last day I walked out of my office. And they kept telling me, Elma, you need to get out of the office. <laughs> and I didn't want to leave my office. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I really didn't. I, I was the last one out of our team that actually left the office. And that's what I'm noticing now that 
God God is really working on me. He really is. Because me too. <laughs> when you're in uncomfortable situations and mm-hmm. you want to get comfortable in that situation, God can stir up that pot to make you move. Move. And I'm like, and I and I even had a, a vision um on Sunday or whatever, just gave me a word or whatever, and was pretty much telling me he's trying to renew me. Good. And That's I'm good. like, you know, I get emotional about everything. That's good. I'm cry, baby. Go ahead. But cry. I'm like, you know, and I'm open now to success. I'm, yes. I'm open to learning new things, thinking yes. differently, yes. accepting. And I've weeded out so many people that didn't mean me any good. I hear you. And I'm always that one that's trying to cling on, like, no, 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 that's that's my friend. No, you're not my she friend. She might not be your friend. No, I mean, but it was for a season, you know, and, and sometimes friends can let you down a lot of the time really and, and, oh, yes, <laughs> and me. that's why i don't really? use that word very you know really but I, my, it's like i'm working on being a better me i'm finding yes. my my new voice i like you know, that i want thing. to start my business and and just finish what i started you know yes yeah, see so, philippian one and six yeah and, and i am and jamaica I, and I, help oh my goodness <laughs> but i, I don't know i think i need to another jamaica, vacation girl. You coming back with some? Oh no, I'm doing more meditations. I need to start doing. I love it, and and it's just like you know what. I always try to wait for somebody else to stimulate my mind. Yeah, I'm like, come on, girl. Yeah, you can do that yourself. I can do it myself. I used to always say I can't do this, but then I'm teaching my boys. Don't ever say you can't do something until you try. And then even um, I'm going back to Denzel. He was saying that on your deathbed Mm -hmm. and you know how you always have dreams and you know dreams are going to be just dreams if you don't pretty much pursue it Mm -hmm. and it's like what success stories will be around your bedside when you should have could have would have done all that like would your success on wanting to start a business would that be there or would it die with you so i'm like no if i want something I don't want all these success uh, stories that I could have had around me and die with me. Yeah. I want to be able to die knowing that, that I have did. done them. Yeah, you know? I like, I'm like girl, oh. we send you back to Jamaica. Hey. Woo! Michael, you got the mic on that one, girl. I love but, that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm I really like, like 2022. I'm claiming like so much success, you know. I love and, it. Uh, and now I'm like asking other business people to. You know, normally I'm like, I don't want to ask nobody because I don't want them. But I'm like, okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> you know, so, and thank everyone that has helped me yes. with, um, you know, questions that were answered. So, That's good. special people like that. And I appreciate each and every one of you. You're so important. Yeah. He is a motivator. And I do want to say thank you. He really, um, because, you know, I see that he's doing his business and everything. I'm sorry to put this now, but my thing about it Put it it out there. That's the Kirk book. You know, I see a young man doing his thing, and I'm like, I'm not, but 29, not really. (laughs) You know, and I'm like, my life isn't over. You know, I'm seeing all these successful women and men and, you know, children making a life for themselves, a, a story. And they're not afraid to go out there and get it. And when I see people, especially having their business, having a successful business, teachers, preachers, pastors, whatever. And, and I'm like, models and model. There. Oh my God. Oh my yes. God. She this is woman awesome right model. here. Chilling. When I met you, <laughs> you, I, I knew that you should have been modeling. I, because everybody should, say that about she her. Did, she's a beautiful person, a beautiful Thank soul. You know, and the thing about <laughs> it is, right. it's, it's so, I would toot my horn like, I ain't gonna lie. I would like, she's so humble with it. But it's because she, you're enjoying what you're doing. And you know, I don't care what age you may or may not be. Beauty is in everything. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. You said that well. And I'm yes. like, wow. So thank every one of you. Yes, Each one of I y'all has you. really yes. inspired me yes. to want more. I like that. That's good. And to do better for myself. I, because I, I do it. want to have generational wealth for myself, my family, friends, you know, but my thing about it is I have to start by loving me, 
Yes. Reading yes, these Bible scriptures. That's scripts. right. Getting and I'm word. thankful no, that right. you're so doing I this now because that. that's good. I was raised up in church and um, mm, I just know it was a beginning and an end. <laughs> and some stuff in the middle. Yeah, something in the middle. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, she told me read this right here. I'm like, what? You know, and then God gave me um uh, uh you know some scriptures and stuff. And, we, and I want you to share those so we can put them. I'm not yes, the only one gonna be podium. doing scripts. We gotta get her the podium. See, I know it. Here it, it is. Uh, it was three so and see, right there. no, no, no. It was. It was. Uh, what was it? Three and nine. Three and, three and nine. Three and nine. Right here. No, no, not Philippians. Oh, which one? Oh, Colossians? Yeah. Oh, I love Colossians. It was three, three and, nine. and nine. I had text someone because I, I wasn't in my right mind. It I said, had, do not and, lie to one another. Yes. Since you have put <laughs> yes. off the old man with his yes. deeds. Yes, yes. Do not lie to one another. See, That's a I was I was thinking about doing some dirt. <laughs> <laughs> On, on Sunday. All right. Now. And you went I'm back being to very work. honest. And the word I said, don't do it. No, really did. I, I do really, it. not trying it. to say I was doing something bad. I understand. You know, but I was like, ooh, mm, you know, and then it was like early in the morning, like four or five <laughs> o'clock in the morning. I'm like, mm -mm, I'm asleep. Mm -mm, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> you know, because, you know, sinning sounds so fun until mm -hmm. you sin and then you don't win, basically. Right. <laughs> and so I was like, I was like, man, what does this scripture mean? And I was like, you remember that time when I prayed? You know, I was meaning like after I do my sin. <laughs> but I was like, ooh, uh-uh, God looking at me. And I'm like, because I kept saying, I want something different from myself. That's I want good. to be out of uncomfortable situation. And it. God is removing all of that. But I was like, oh, could you wait that. till Monday after, you know? <laughs> I was like, oh man, I'm mad now, but <laughs> thank you, Jesus. I know you looking and working on me. I know what's but done in the dirt comes to the light. It though. I am, that's and I'm why, like, um, awesome. and then just that I'm telling you, I'm getting rid of people, and and I'm like, hmm. and you look good, girl. Jamaica's doing. Oh my we going to Jamaica with you next time. <laughs> I'm telling you, ain't good over there. <laughs> I hear you. That is awesome. Yes, but you know the word is there's a word for everything that you're going through. It is. It you is. Know? And, and I was preaching on that yesterday, uh, which basically what you said is like you heard my sermon. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we have to oh, leave that it. stuff around. We I have to leave it. it. I yes. heard sermon. Oh, did you hear it? Did you hear heard it? it? Okay, then. I was going to make some comments, but I didn't know how the audience was. I said, I ain't doing that, Pastor. I ain't doing that. I don't want to do that, Pastor. <laughs> that ain't me. See? But, you know, last time she said for such, some of you were not. <laughs> You tore it up. You tore it up. Yesterday. But at I the mentioned end, you in my son. But at the end, <laughs> at the end I, didn't, I didn't realize you were finished. And I think you were asking people to come up. And then when the elder came up in his hand, I thought he was coming to let you know it was him. Because <laughs> he came up. He came I up said the door to the church. And you did something. And I saw him coming. I was like, oh, he need to get saved. I knew I was saved. <laughs> Because I saw him before I saw Apostle, you know. Oh, my God. So I was like, okay, what is he doing behind Pastor? Because he was doing like this. Oh, my God. Do you remember that man? You were, and I was like, what just happened? <laughs> But yeah, it's 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 so, because we hate when oh people are, yeah, are walking that was around, you know, stressing over things that they don't uh -huh. have to stress over. And God doesn't want us to be stressing. Uh -huh. He said he wants you to enjoy. Trust him. Let go of all of that. And like the scripture says here, uh, well, let me go back to Philippians. When it says, I do not count myself to... Uh, apprehend but on one thing i do forgetting those things which are behind mm -hmm. forgetting ing is a continuing thing mm -hmm. forget those things that even when people bring them up to you uh-uh no i'm not going there you know so that's that's what the word it will do it will help change your life if you actually use it i like 20 it says for our conversation is in heaven mm. Mm -hmm. From and that's for yes, the down number yes, that's for three and twenty. In heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change us. That's right. That it, that won't he do it? Won't he do it? Like yes, unto he his will. glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Therefore, brethren, dearly beloved, and long mm -hmm. for my joy and crown, stand fast. In that's the Lord. right. 
And that's what you're doing. Oh, that's I'm, right. you're I'm like, uh-uh. and you moving. I am. I am. Because everything in front of us that he has for us causes us to focus on him. That's mm-hmm. right. And Satan always wants us to look behind. So he that, wants to keep us back there. So I we know. can't see. That's see, and right. I be wanting to joke. I'm like, see, I can't look back at it. <laughs> You know, like I said on yesterday, Satan is good at saying, <laughs> Lord. Uh, you know, you used to be like that. And I brought that out because that's what he would tell me all the time. He would say, you know, you used to be this. You, and I said, you know what? Satan is smart because uh-huh. he know I used to be like that. Uh-huh. You know, so uh-huh. then let him know I'm no longer the same because I have Christ uh-huh. in my life. Uh-huh. And with Christ in my life, I, I'm much happier now. Uh-huh. I can pick out whichever wig I want for I him. And right. I can have fun. And like I said, it's people that I don't need to be around. I ask God to move my... Uh-huh. You know, one time he even told me, we was traveling, my husband and I was traveling. He said, get your phone. And then and I said, what? He said, go through the phone. It's some people that you need to delete because their spirit is through that phone. Uh-huh. I'm like, really? He said, yeah, go through that. I had so many people... In the phone, some of them had died and they were still in my phone. <laughs> I can't call them, so I'm like, Why do I have these people? There's some people I didn't even know. Mm-hmm. And I went through them, I bet you I deleted, I don't know how many mm-hmm. numbers out of my phone, yeah. but I never look at that. We can hold spirits in our phones and stuff like that because they're you calling these people up and they can be negative, they can be positive. Mm-hmm. But I just listened to him. Got a couple more deletes. You need to delete, delete some more. Delete, delete. Okay, I don't delete a lot of stuff. And you now I gotta go through like pictures and oh delete. No, I'm just delete. Uh, I, I do. I went through and started deleting a lot of stuff because I'm like, I don't need it. I you don't, don't need it. Mm-mm. And you know, on that note, we know that today is uh Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday. And we just want to pause just for a few minutes. And we celebrating it on today, which is I think is January the 17th. Uh uh today. And this is a national holiday with Dr. Martin Luther King. And uh just to say a little bit about him, because see, even this scripture applied to him because he's teaching us to move forward. He's not keeping us back. And Martin, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was an American Baptist minister and activist who became the most visible spokesman and leader in the American Civil Rights Movement from 1955 until his assassination in 1968. <clears throat> and he was born on January the 15th, 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, he married Coretta Scott King, and they have children, Martin Luther King III, Yolanda King, Bernice King, and Dexter King, okay? And his uh, parents were Martin Luther King Sr. and Alberta William King. And they said, what are three facts about Martin Luther King? There was more than three, but um, they said on here, and this was really interesting, uh, King entered college at the age of 15. Isn't that something? And he wrote this speech. Y'all remember the speech? I have a dream. He's right. well known for that. Mm-hmm. That was one of his speeches, and a lot of people really liked that. And King was imprisoned nearly 30 times. Gosh, this man has so much history behind him, you know. Mm-hmm. And how did Martin Luther King change the world? He said King was largely responsible for the passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965. <clears throat> the Civil Rights Act banned discrimination in the workforce and public accommodation based on race, color, religion, or national origin. The voting right protect African American right to vote. Now, he went through all of this for us to vote. And do you know people still don't vote today? I don't know if you all vote or not, but I go and vote. I make sure I go and vote. And I take my kids and I told Emmanuel, dear, we going, my husband, we going and vote. And then we'll go um, and uh, I get that and um, we'll get that uh, the voting right and everything. Okay? What do you all think? He is mm-hmm. somebody about special. Voting. I know, about voting? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what do you think yes. about voting or just Martin Luther King? <clears throat> a lot of people, they just, you know, they have a lot to say until it's time to say it. Uh-huh. A lot of times it's best to go and vote 
to get your point across, you know. Mm -hmm. I used to just go to the voting poll and just be like, oh, that one looked good. Yep, that one looked good. Oh, a lot of people are talking <clears throat> about this one right here. So let me just check for that one. Not exactly like that, but, you know, it's to educate yourself on what you're actually voting for. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of them have a lot to say, but they don't go vote. Right. Or just, oh, I don't have time to vote, but you have time to text on Facebook about how you <laughs> feel about that situation and, you know, be quiet. Mm -hmm. You know, they always say closed mouth don't get fed. So either you vote and vote for people that can actually help put food on your table or hush and be quiet. And research, mm -hmm. research who's on the voting mm -hmm. ballot and see if that's uh, who you really want to mm -hmm. vote for. What do you think, Kimberly? Yeah, pretty much the same. And what I try to do, I think a lot of times, if we want to get people to do things, mm -hmm. you kind of have to stop telling them what they're doing wrong. Right, right. We spend most of our time telling people what they're doing wrong when it comes mm -hmm. to voting. And that's a turn off. That's with anything, right. anybody. I was and, yesterday. Mm -hmm. and I listen to people, well, y'all don't do this. Y'all don't do this. And y'all don't do this. And y'all, well, they are and they're not. So finding a way to motivate them to come and do it. Right, instead of. Versus. Yeah, right. beating them up and, you know, because a lot of times it looks like it's not doing anything, although it is. And a lot of times we just need to find out what the word says. Because one thing is not going to change for me is what God said. There you go. Martin Luther, Martin Luther King was an instrument. Uh -huh. That he used. And I think wow. a lot of times we forget wow. that he was an instrument, a tool used That's by God, right. as we all are. Yep. He's a vessel. And yeah, there you go, a vessel. That's right. That and God that used. we still have mm -hmm. to open the Bible and find out what God wants done. Mm -hmm. That's it. Because it ain't going to come. And how he wants it is how it's going to be played out, whether we participate in it or not. That's yeah. right. You may you may be eliminated from the earth. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, <laughs> but what, you know, what God has designed is, is going to happen. I think it was another question you had asked earlier. I just can't remember it right now. Um, so when I vote... It was about racism as it... Do you think it's still increased or has it decreased since? Oh no, not not that one. Not that one. Um, how had Martin Luther King changed? Yeah, the, yeah, like the how world. Has it changed? Yeah, but um, that's that was that first one you had asked us. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just you know, for me, it's always the word because at first that was difficult for me because I really wasn't understanding what God wanted when I was younger. Right. What He actually wanted to happen because I went, I just whatever, everything was okay mm -hmm. with me when I was younger. Mm -hmm. You know, you could say put adultery on the thing, and I just vote for whoever I thought looked the best on the camera. <laughs> Thank you. you know, they could be doing everything wrong. Yeah. But as I grew in the word right. and began to study, I began to look for things that God valued. Thank you. Right. That's good. She found her Bible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I start. So a That's lot of times, good. and I remember when I was younger, trying to make those decisions. Because once you first start voting, you. You're either listening to what your parents told you, that's and you right. may not always agree with them. That's just the reality. Right. You may not that's always true. agree with them when you go to the polls to vote. So then just trying to figure out who you are and what you believe. And that's what I tell Stephen and Sebastian, too. Now, yes, this, these are my beliefs, but you have to open up the Bible for yourself mm -hmm. and figure out what your, your values are. And then vote your values, not because someone looks good on the TV, because you're not around any of those people. You're right. You re and they're going to say what they need to say Thank to get you. us to do what they want us to do. And they're going to always show you the same thing over and over and over again. And then it I know you. Mm -hmm. I am around you. So right. I can see your, it's not just your lip sync to me. And so, you know, I had to teach them that too. You know, you may not believe what you heard me say or Keith said over the last 18 years, but there's the Bible and it's your guide That's right. for moral values, a moral patriotic mm -hmm. citizen. What is it that you believe? What is it that you follow? If you mess up, you mess up. Some true. people I regret I voted for because they don't have my values. My mm -hmm. values are not their values. So. Right. so I know my first 10 years, it was kind of difficult just trying to sort through all that. That's true. But now I know. But mm -hmm. it, it took it took a while. So I can see how sometimes it's difficult when you go to the poll. Then you got to remember everybody's name. Oh, that's <laughs> like, that's what they stand for. I start screenshot now. Like, let me. See uh -huh. Who is this person? And where, and where you been all this time? Mm -hmm. And you just popped. You, you, you know, you don't you, see him till it's time to 
vote for them. And you don't hear about them and, you know. And then once you get them in office, do they see them again? I'm going to bring some of them back that's been on this show. And, and, ask I, and what I can happened. understand you may not see them again because they got to work. Yeah. You, you know, they got to work and they're just but caught up into all that doing. paperwork. We're going to bring some of them back on the mm-hmm, show mm-hmm. that's been on here, you know, uh-huh. that said they was going to do this. I want to know what have you been doing. But this was, uh, that was one of them. And then this other one said, what are three things that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Are known for? He was the driving force behind the watershed events such as the Montgomery bus bar count and the 1963 March on Washington, which helped bring about such landmark legislation as the Civil Rights Act and the Voting Rights Act. <clears throat> King was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964 and is remembered each year on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. You know, he even had to, uh, that had to be voted into office for that day to be um, into office. Also, I think, um, when I can't remember, but I think uh, what's the lady name that just got Juneteenth? Uh, uh, Opal, Miss Opal. Mm-hmm. She uh, went into all that with Juneteenth, and mm-hmm. that's a national holiday now. And uh, and they're gonna give us that day, Kimberly. Oh yeah, they're they gonna give it to them. They they go. Mm-hmm. We can be off that day, you know. So they kind of behind. Are we uh, gonna get the? Uh, what is it when you go back and collect you know, we stuff? Gotta, uh, take baby steps. They gotta. They, you gotta go they, back and get it. What is it when you go back and you get money that you get? Rep, 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 oh, rep, reparation. No, not that one. You know, like when you, you when you're supposed to pay you for something they didn't. Yeah, that's yeah. where they go back and give uh-huh. you the money back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need, yeah, I need like some days, yeah. some yeah. years. Are they gonna do that? And whoever this day is, whoever the day are, I don't know who they are. But you know, so those were um, some of the things that, uh, and he is also known around the world as one of the most significant leaders of the civil rights movement. In the 1950-1960, King and many others fought to end racial segregation in the southern United States and discrimination against African Americans. And uh, he mostly fought with his words. Mm-hmm. And you you know, if you even watch some of the movies that he was in and, and you will see how they treated him, but he still fought with his words. A lot of other people want to fight with their fists and all mm-hmm. that, but he really fought with standing up for his word. And you know, I've heard people say the negative things, but we all have some negative and positive things in our life. Uh, naturally, he done something wrong. You know, nobody on this earth has never done anything wrong except for Kimberly. You know, I'm so, good. I'm good. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. But those, this is, uh, they even asked, what was uh, MLK's favorite color? Anybody know? Mm, no, nah, I wasn't that Okay, he I said, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., favorite colors were said to be both black and white since he was a stunt uh, advocate of equality of the races. And what did Martin Luther King want? His main thing was to raise the public conscious of racism. And today we still have racism uh, today. We still, we can still feel it. It may not be as open as it used to be, but it's still here. You can still hear it. And certain people don't care. They'll still say the N word. They still call us names and, uh, uh, I don't understand. Even uh, uh, I think we can call Carlos on this one. Uh, Carlos had mentioned a statement a while ago that uh, his name, Carlos. Can you uh, can we call you and you can tell your uh, thing about your name? What they said about you? Come on, Carlos. Yeah, this lady uh, I used to work with. Uh, she would never call me by my name, and uh, she would always call me Jamal. <laughs> She said, because you look like a Jamal, so I'm calling you Jamal. Wow. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, obviously she don't know that this is racist. You know what I'm saying? But uh I I don't know. it's just it's just so, some people just don't know, man. Just don't just don't understand because they live in a world of privilege that they don't know, you know what I'm saying? Because for us, we have to recognize these things because these things are always against us. But people that live in a place of privilege don't see these things, don't hear these things. And when you bring it forth to them, they don't understand because they don't have to live their life. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I think some of them choose to not understand. A lot like of them do know by now out of all their years of living, all this stuff that they see on the TV, mm-hmm. you know, <clears throat> and it's sad that you have to tell them how to treat you, you know, and it's just like, and respect you. And, too, and, respect yeah. you. and mm-hmm. then when you ask for respect, you still don't get it because they're like, hmm, I'm not going to really face any consequences. Sometimes that's how some of them may feel, may not, who knows. Yeah. But a lot of them do know, and they still don't care. <clears throat> you know, I don't care how many times you teach them or show them or tell them or ask them or whatever. It's like, oh, I, I don't know. And then, you know, some things I've heard, you know, whether it's past, present, or whatever, mm-hmm. some of them, they're like, um, <clears throat> well, teach me. And I'm like, teach you what? <laughs> you know, I mean, my thing about it is you watch TV and some of these people can be very intelligent people, you know, probably have degrees or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, so you're smart enough to know this, but you should know if you, especially if people own their own businesses or companies or whatever the case may be, you know what should be said or shouldn't be said in a workplace like, you know, how they're yeah. referring to you as Jamal. You know, they know that's not right. Now, what if you would have just went around and be like, hey, Becky, hey, Becky, you look like a Becky. You know, <laughs> like, and then she Googled okay, what Becky maybe is. I miss, okay, no, I miss Jamal. <laughs> what did I miss about Jamal? <laughs> no, he was saying that the woman said that he looked like a Jamal, and I was asking But him, I miss what Jamal, I miss. That's what I want to know. What is a I don't Jamal? know what Jamal means. See, but what does Jamal uh, mean? Jamal, what does Jamal look like? Yeah. I mean, like, a, is that? A black person? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and a lot of times oh. they get some of this stuff, like the name Jamal and stuff, they get it off of movies. And they know that, you know, you know, you're not going to, well, sorry, now you never know who is black and white sometime on some yeah, stuff. Some because, names. you know, Jamal, just like, oh, okay, what would you think? Hey, my name is, I'll just say the generic name, Shaniqua, how some people, you wouldn't think that she's, you know, she may be, but some people know that those names are related, are related to, to say someone's like, yeah. race. That's why some people are like, oh, I can't date a Shaniqua. I can't date a this new Shaniqua. Uh, uh, yeah. And I would like, you know, <laughs> and I, I try not to be petty and just go toe to toe. Sometimes I have to just smile and just <laughs> and say what I really want to say inside. But when it comes to disrespect, I do have a voice now. Because from where I'm from in the country, East Texas, there's a lot of racism. Yeah, it is. And I've been called the N-word and everything. And by the grace of God, he was instilled at me because I was like, oh, you know, I was, woo. sorry, I was stretching, y'all. I was stretching, <laughs> just stretching, you know. But, you know, some people try to bring out the worst in you. But you know how Michelle Obama, if they go high, you go higher or whatever, yeah. however she said it. But I'm like, okay, you can only tolerate disrespect for so long. Either you're going to respect me or I don't have to deal with you. What was your question, Kim, about the Jamal thing? I was just trying to figure out. <laughs> Jamal was I was like, heard Jamal. Of I with Jamal. Yeah, some of them look at TV and they get some names off of TV or they know this one black person that they may know, Jamal yeah. or I mean, something. But it, it's not even, that's not even the first time that this ever happened to me. It, I, and for some reason, it's always the same name. It's always wow. Jamal uh, for some reason. That's like, probably because they probably one Jamal on TV. Like, somebody <laughs> asked me my name. Like, obviously, I'm black. And my name is Carlos. Uh, right there, it's like, your name Carlos? Like, and what do they think? Is that is that supposed to be a Hispanic or a Mexican yeah, name? Yeah, so they, yeah. they uh, I, I've had people ask me, uh, mm-hmm. your name Carlos? Okay, what's your last name? Like Johnson, they'd be like, oh, okay. But <laughs> <laughs> so I guess they think it Johnson yeah. is a black name. So they they and looking Carlos for they looking for they looking for me to be Hispanic okay. when they hear Carlos. So when I when I tell uh tell white people that my name is Carlos, they'd be like, Man, your name Carlos, and you don't even look like a Carlos. See? I'm like, See, that's what I'm saying. What does that's a Carlos look, look like? like. <laughs> and sometimes it just may be I've seen this many people with this name. Right. That's right. Because yeah. people do me the same way, but yeah. I don't, it doesn't bother me. 
What do they do? Because with sometimes you? With if you Kimberly? ask, sometimes you have Kimberly? to ask. Because Kim, Kimberly started as a boy name ancient years ago. Kimberly was a boy name, and then you have yeah. people that are K Y M, and then you have K E M. So and sometimes K-I-M. you just have to ask people, well, what what do you mean, or what is it that you've right. seen in quant- a large quantity mm-hmm. of this particular name without just assuming? Because a lot of times Satan wants us to be divided. He wants a division. And one of us, it only takes one of us to keep the both of us together. I worked with a gentleman that was white and we had a good time. He was a partner. We worked for um, the part, the, the community partners. And his granddaughter had had a baby, mixed baby. And he sat me down one time and we always had fun conversations. And he said, Kimberly, you know, I love this baby. Mm-hmm. He said, but my dad's dad was in the Ku Klux Klan. I said, I would have never known that. I have so much fun talking to you. I never sensed it. Mm-hmm. Right. He said, I gave my life to Jesus. Come on. And that changed <clears throat> things. That changed it, yeah. Now, I can't say my great granddaddy changed. Changed, that's right. But I, I changed. I changed. Yes. Never right. knew Mr. Dodd. I said, Mr. Dodd, I done talked to you two years. I ain't never sensed that. We have had so much See? fun. Because he didn't let that come into him. But... <laughs> I could have looked at him and, you know. And shut down. And shut down. I was like, did y'all know that he, they's like, no. You, you just never know what you, you say. You know. talk to people, but that's in his family. Mm-hmm. And he acknowledges that. So sometimes you just have to sit down and talk to people. Get to know them. Especially if you work with them, get to know that's them and right. see why right. they think that way. How If they want to talk about it, they right. may not. <clears throat> and it's just one person at a time. It's just, you, you can't change the whole world. You can't be mm-hmm. angry at everybody because that's how they were brought up. And that's how they were taught. Well, that's what they hear from movies, TV, because the TV will show you the same thing over and over again. Yeah. If you see some, something over and over enough and you're not mentally tough, you're going to take it in and believe it. Because mm-hmm. the day a gentleman yeah, came it. at our job today, he did not want anybody black to touch none of his paperwork. Mm-hmm. I don't want nobody in here black touching none because <laughs> black people mess up everything. <laughs> I need somebody white. That's what he said. And he was black. And he was black. Right. And we all sitting there looking at him because everybody was black. And I'm just like, dude, <laughs> no. I mean, he was just, no, no, you get me somebody. Because y'all mess up everything. Y'all, y'all, that's in Texas, black people. I don't like black people. I mean, he just, I'm sitting here going. And that one white lady came wasn't. around the corner. She said, well, don't he know he black? I said, I don't think he know he black. Mm-hmm. There are people I mean, he was them. just yelling at us because wow. something happened with his case. His benefits. Yeah. And he didn't want nobody black to mess. But the lady came around the corner. I said, well, she going to be black. <laughs> <laughs> I said, but it was the white man that told us to sanction you. Because you didn't come. It was the black person. The white man told us to sanction you. <laughs> Why you see? fussing at us? But you just, I don't know where he got that thinking from. That we're not capable of handling his paperwork. Because and that it was us. Uh, people always want to judge their yeah out of they make everybody the same like so I, I have people, to make sure i'm not doing the same thing that he does that's right mm-hmm. with we have another to catch i have to right. catch me to make sure when i'm with another race mm-hmm. i'm not doing i'm not doing that right. and if i just do one person at a time one person at a time i can't take the whole ch- i can't change the whole world or all of texas world, no. i just have to go little by little little by little yeah you're going to encounter yeah. uh, people like that yeah, but I, I'm not going to take on their anger and their hostility and no, take to my house. That's back then. To change my house. Even the people that, you know, are dealing with that yeah. now. Am I going to ruin my house, my family, my life? Am I going to hate all white people because what they did back then? Mm-hmm. You know, no. Because or back, or even now. Because some of to get here too. Just like or even now. You yeah. know? Yeah. But even I told now. somebody so, that I said, I don't judge this person how you are, I mean, I judge how you Case by it. case. You know, everything yeah, is case, a by, case, case by case situation. Just because I don't like you don't mean Kimberly yeah, has to mean, not yeah. like you. If you see I, what I'm saying? I could like but we want to do that. We if do. I don't we like do. you, Kim. You can't Nobody like Nobody else either. should like the race, right? And I'm you like, know, so. to both, you know, because I'm like, deuces. But my thing is, yeah. if how you treat me mm-hmm. doesn't mean I have to react and treat you the same way you're treating me. That's right. And when I'm sitting here trying to educate you and asking, you know, like, just some respect, mm-hmm. but if I can't get it, I understand. Huh? That's just how some people are set in their, their ways. ways. And I understand that. But at the same time, I don't have to accept the way that you're treating me. me. 
Yeah. And so that's right. why it's just, you know, sometimes it's best to move, move around. On, or, move around. Know, mm-hmm. Let God push you on out the way because you're still <laughs> trying to hold on to something. And I'm like, no, because I could really judge all the, like from my past experience and stuff and be like, oh, I can't stand no white people. But then at the same time, like, oh, I can't stand myself. I can't stand black people. I can't stand white people. I'm like, <laughs> you know, and, and but I don't mm-hmm. want to be like that. I grew up wanting to be that, oh, I love the rainbow. I love everybody. I want to hug, hug, hug. I want to make world peace. And, you know, and then when you get knocked upside the head by your own person, not really knocked upside the head, but like belittled or talked mm-hmm. down like, you're not better than me because I have a degree or, and I'm like, uh, okay. Yeah. Just we I, put people in that mm-hmm. category. Yeah, we do. You know, we and we do people. that. We stereotype people, you mm-hmm. know. If they don't have a degree, we won't have nothing to do with them. If they do have a degree, mm-hmm. you should be able to treat people just like Dr. Marley was saying with, with uh, uh, equality life. Mm-hmm. And that's what the Bible does. And that's the reason why I selected that scripture because he said, I pressed toward the goal. And that's what Martin Luther King was doing. He was trying to press towards the goal to let everybody know that we are all should be treated right, not because of our race. And that our conversation and our is mm-hmm. in heaven. Because yes. I'm, I'm assuming he was a, a Christian. Yeah. I'm going to assume he was a Christian mm-hmm. because his father changed his name. You know, it was first Michael. And his father studied under uh, Martin Luther. Wow. And he changed his name. So there was something to me in my heart that his father learned about Martin Luther right. and us being justified by Christ. Mm. And know. I think that's what Martin Luther King Jr. was trying to get over to mm-hmm. us is that right. we were justified by Christ. And if we begin to see ourselves mm-hmm. in Christ and now how Satan sees us and wants to keep that division going, because if we come together, we're powerful. Oh, oh yeah. my God. All of us, yeah. all races but Satan together. Want you to come together. He doesn't want us to come together. Us to keep that Some of us don't want us, us to, to come, come together, together too. Because you know? it's just like you want to keep someone down here when we can continue to build together. And, and that's a spirit. Yeah. And we have to be able to get that spirit out by using the word. The yeah, word. But some the people word. let people feel too comfortable with calling each other something that you shouldn't be calling yeah. each other you know and but the pa- but the power of god still overrides it oh, well, as we get yes. in so that sense, that's why right. some people still want to be like oh i can say they you know, i can they call say. you that but another race call us that we get mad but don't that's even call true. you that that's true you know don't i don't even want to be called that then i don't have to worry about the other race but as soon as the other race call us that we want to get. We want to fight, right. yeah. I know our time is, is, is ended, but we did want to pay tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King for all the hard effort that he, he did. did yes. And he was assassinated back in 1960. I was eight years old when he was assassinated. No, I was seven, get ready to be eight in October. Uh, but his, his legacy is still going on. And like you were saying, you want to leave something back. I want to leave something back. I oh, want to yeah. be able to not just dream it. Like he said, I have a dream. We all have a dream. But do we bring our dream into manifestation? Or do we take that dream to the grave with us? Uh, Les Brown said one time, mm-hmm. the richest place on earth is the graveyard. Mm-hmm. Because so many people had so much that they took to the grave with them. But I want to encourage you, if you do have a dream, Bring that dream into manifestation. If you have a business that you've been contemplating on, get around some people that have businesses and learn the business and and everything, you know. And I I have to give props to my son when he wanted to step out on his business. The self of mine said, oh, no, he ain't going to be making no money, you know. And then, but I had to support him because that was his dream. Right. And I wanted his dream to come into manifestation. And I never wanted to hold anybody back. Mm. And that's how I operate. When people come to me with their visions, my thing is this, God gave you that vision. So you need to bring the vision into manifestation. So bring your dreams, your vision this year into manifestation. And if you don't know how the word, I always tell you, and Jeremiah 29, 11 says what? Well, he has plans for you, but you got to make those plans. He'll give it to you. But what are you going to do? Just close the book up? No. Open the book up and bring that chapter into manifestation.
So we give tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King, even though it's a national holiday, that holiday means something. It does. And, and, and it's, it's a great importance. So do what you can. My father-in-law, you say all the time, do what you can while you can. And then you can leave back a leg legacy that some people will say, you remember I saw Kim and Tanisha and Linda on that old talk of life talk show with Elma. And it's still going on and they're going. But you know one thing I learned about that? You all looking at me, TV. Did you just kill her? Perry Mason. No, I ain't here, y'all. Sure yeah, but I'm just saying, no. She didn't even go. I was like, where we, we go? still alive, y'all. I mean, we still alive. No more but trips. what I'm saying is, check this out. Check this out. But if you look at Me TV, and I love Perry Mason. Yeah, I love okay, Perry Mason. Okay, now check Come this on, out. Perry Mason. On that TV show, Perry Mason is not dead. Where? Think about it. He's still living on, on that show. show. He's not dead on that show. You Did y'all get that? Like, but oh. he's dead in real life, but on that show, he's not he's dead. Still alive. So what is happening is Perry Mason is still living on. Uh -huh. And even when I'm gone, I'm going to still be living on because y'all going to be watching this show. Yes. And y'all going to say, that crazy woman. But the thing of it, that crazy woman gave you the word. That's and it. the word is what carried this show. Yeah. And the word is what gives us life. Yes. Kim, are you going to fashion or not? Oh, sure. So we don't want Kim not to fashion. <laughs> Wait a minute. Before yeah, we go. She, I told you that AARP. I be going in my fashion. I tell you, she, gets, she gets in the AARP and style. she gets so comfortable sitting in that chair. <laughs> okay, Kim. Do your I thing, girl. You know, I was watching Gomer Powell and uh -oh. Gomer Powell. <laughs> Is it Gomer Powell? And one of the ladies, the white, the girlfriend of the sergeant, she had a Chanel bag. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she has a Chanel bag. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That was pretty cool. So she may be dead and gone, but her fashion is still going on. See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> her fashion it's is still, still living. going on. I like yes, that, yes, Jack. yes. This is my birthday jacket from Joy Bell. Thank you, Joy Williams. This is my birthday hat from my BFF Stephanie at work. <laughs> I love, I love the glasses. Oh yeah, and my glasses, yeah. I love that purse. Now that you put it that way. This is my 50th birthday present, gift from my husband. He told me don't ask him for nothing else. <laughs> I mean, that's the first thing I thought about. I said, look at the jacket, and look at that high match up. And it didn't even come together. I know. That's going up here and shake with you. This is the Kirk Booth model, you all. This is our Kirk Booth model. So when you want to rent a photo booth that allows models to come on and take the glamorous shots. Check us out at www.thekirkbooth.com. We do all type of events and we give you memories that will last and last no matter what. Why? Because it has the name Kirk in it. That stands for Kirkwood, the one and only The Kirk Booth. We even have one that can roll around and it can go from room to room. We are such an and you know, God can give us such a vision. Yes, and I'm I like so that robo. Emmanuel uh, stepping out on faith. And one day, we're going to invite Emmanuel yes. to come and be on our show. And he's going to be able to tell how God worked it. He said, but mom, I'm behind the scene. No, you're going to be in front of you. You're going to be up here with us. See, see Tess said she'll work it back there. Paula's going to be working. Just show me two buttons. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. But we just want you to know, young men, you all can bring your dreams into manifestation, no matter how big or how small. But again, until we see you what face to face, we love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. YouTube, Facebook, Mondays and Thursdays, 8 p.m.